Welcome to your first day on the job. This is your very own autopilot ship, where you will eat and sleep for the duration of your contract. Make yourself at home. To complete the onboarding process, you will want to check the instruction manual and sign into your ship's computer terminal. We trust you will be a great asset to the company. Great, great asset to the company. Asset. Great, great, great asset to the company. Asset. Great, great asset. Lethal Company is the only game I've played in recent memory that can bring grown men to their knees from laughter and pure, unadulterated, primal fear. Oh no. Dude. Before I even get into the review, this game is everything you probably already heard and more. I'm not going to go too deep into the game's mechanics as I have something towards the end of the video that will explain the world a bit better than I can, but more on that later. For those of you who have been living under a rock for the past few weeks, you might be asking, what is Lethal Company? Its premise is pretty simple. You're part of a salvage crew working to find scrap on deserted moons to bring back and sell to the company. There isn't a lot of information on what the company is, what or who comprises it, the inner workings and things like that, but you can get some sort of notion if you hit that motherfucking like bill too many times. The money, credits, Bezo bucks, Disney dollars, whatever you want to call the currency. It can be used to purchase equipment for you and your crew, upgrade your ship, and cosmetics like outfits or decor that can be placed inside the spacecraft. This can all be accessed by the terminal inside the ship. There are also a ton of other helpful and useful things to check out in the terminal, but its main purpose is to set courses to the moons of your choice. On the monitor, it will tell you the moon's name along with the current weather on the planet, which varies and changes after every run. This can be torrential rain, flooding, stormy weather with insane lightning that ices metal objects, including loot that you carry. Um, heavy fog and... So this is all pretty standard stuff. You might be thinking, what's the catch? Well, you have a profit quota that shows up on the ship's main monitor alongside the days given to fill said quota. Therein lies the gameplay loop. Go to the moon, collect junk, bring to the company, sell. I am leaving one thing out, I think. Let me look here in my script. Hmm. There, there's one other thing I can't put my fan. Ah, yeah. Other than the usual OSHA violations like broken railings on catwalks over the void, poorly lit areas, and enough radioactive dust to give the elephant's foot a run for its money, you also have to deal with the many awful, no good, very bad creatures that this game puts between you and that jar of pickles. If you ever find yourself close enough to one of these godless abominations, you can scan them to get some more data on the creature in question that's sent back to the ship's terminal. This can be accessed in the form of the bestiary. The bestiary is invaluable to the scrapper as it gives some extra info on creatures that you will come across more than once. They also use a form of entomologist scale like the schmidt pain index to scale their danger levels it's called like the sigurds level of danger or whatever it's on the screen depending on the creature this can be low high or non-existent because the people that come into contact have never been seen again the info is fairly extensive with brief descriptions of what they look like behavior and possible ways of countering them or even killing them outright that's the gist of the game for the most part. The gameplay experience is highly dependent on who you play with. Solo experience isn't all that great, so if you don't have some buddies, get some before diving in. So finally, on to the creme de la creme. I got special access from the company's very own privatized news channel, LNN, for an exclusive look into the life of a salvage worker. Here it is. following footage contains testimonials from salvage crewmen with varying on-site experience levels. Be warned, some details they have divulged to our camera crews may be disturbing, gruesome, or otherwise terrifying. Before continuing, please escort all small children, pets, and the elderly out of the area. Viewer discretion is advised. Disclaimer! The following interviews cannot in any fashion be used against the company in a court of law, no matter how incriminating the evidence may be. All company employees have been pre-selected for their instability and reckless abandonment to accomplish these honorable salvage runs. They have also signed waivers during the onboarding process, which notifies them of any possible dangers they may face in the workplace. Any accusations of worker exploitation are entirely true. Still, we have their signatures, which state that I, at this moment, sign any decision-making, self-preservation, and bodily functions that I contain over to the profits and the company. Subsidiary of Amazon. 
The frequent use of antiemetics to ease feelings of tension from constant exposure to horrors beyond comprehension also contributes to workplace fatigue and rampant mental illness. These include forgetfulness, brain fog, nausea, vomiting, bleeding from the ears, eyes, and anus, irregular heartbeat, rapid testicular expansion, suicidal ideation, psychotic breaks, schizophrenia, and ultimately death may occur if antiemetic medication is not taken regularly. So seeing as you're a new hire here at the company, how's your time been with this current crew? Quite frankly, I fucking hate it. I, I really want to quit, but I can't because all of a sudden our client is a fucking chemical. There's so much shit going on. It turns out I'm not getting that much pay, but on the bright side, at least I'm alive. <laughs> oh! <laughs> the fucking squirm fall! Shh, shh, shh. So how long have you been working for the company? So I'm the most senior person on this crew here. Three days. It's been a bit of a journey so far. How Don't bad of a mistake door. was it? Don't open that door. Don't no. <laughs> Not optimal. Uh, but we're we're getting by. In three days, yes, we've gone through six employees. It's what one might refer to as a high turnover rate. What about hazard pay? Never heard of it. Nothing we do here is OSHA approved. Oh! I don't know what's in the smoke. Oh! There's a laser That's a turret! Oh, 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 you are not constrained by the guidelines of Galactic OSHA? The only guideline we have to follow is hitting that number on that screen. If you don't mind me prying, what happens to you and your fellow crewmates when the quota isn't reached in the given time? At that point, a man has to consider his options. You can pray to whatever you believe in, or you can just bend over and kiss your ass goodbye. Me, I tend to hide in the closet. That usually helps when the doors open. Is there a lot of screaming? Well, in space, they can't hear you scream. Welcome so you guys in. Seeing as you've taken up the helm of the ship and the head of the crew, um, how would you describe the company's carbon footprint? I'm legally obligated to not answer that question. So how long have you been a member of the crew? This is actually uh my second day here. I don't want to be here no more. I had a discussion with your captain earlier regarding the turnover rate of employees at the company as well as on this ship specifically. And uh, he said that there's a high turnover rate and you're almost at that three day mark. How are you feeling? I'm not going to make it. I'm sorry. Do you need a tissue? Get me off this ship. Get me off this ship. So from the documents I was allowed to look at, uh, the company does scans of these planets before their salvage crews arrive to do their work. Um, and a lot of these scans show up with unknown flora and fauna. Are any of these biological forms inherently dangerous? They're all dangerous. To the microscope. What kind of creatures? Oh, you know, a black man. They call it the Brack. Oh, the spider's right there. It's on oh, the wall. Nice. <sighs> Ever again. Send me home, please. There's giant monsters outside. So from the documents I was allowed to look at, uh, the company does scans of these planets before their salvage crews arrive to do their work. Um, and a lot of these scans show up with unknown flora and fauna. Are any of these biological forms inherently dangerous? <laughs> They're all monsters. They watch you. Get me out of here. Get me off the ship! Are you talking subversive over here? Do I you do not know. want that paycheck? I, I do. You want to get thrown off of this ship? You are going in that building and you are going to get those parts! 
Okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get in there. God help us all. So after having a lovely discussion with your captain, uh, what I was able to gather was that uh, your crew turnover rate is very high, and that seems to be about average for most crews from the company that go out and salvage. Uh, what's the morale like for uh, the people that come through that you've seen, or maybe how you're currently feeling about the job? Uh, what's the what's the word? Literally two days ago, our captain over here fucking took a shit in the fucking corner, right over there. He makes me and shit I, my bed. He doesn't let me do anything. Oh, I'm sorry. Did someone say captain? Did someone say my name over here? What are you doing? What, we got a bunch of funny guys over here? I got a funny joke for you guys. You two like jokes? Who knows I was walking to a building and go get a bunch of metal objects and bring back for us to sell. And you know what the people at the company say? If you don't bring it back enough of them, you get thrown into space. Ain't that funny? Ain't that funny? Ha ha ha! We're all having a good time! Ha ha! Yeah, keep that shit up and you'll find out what happens, all right? Ain't that funny? Sir? Yeah, ain't that a kick in the head, shit lips? Here at the company, we have a motto. Your wife is in, I mean, your life is in good hands. Your wife is not in my hands. Well, looking at this chart here, I've done plenty to keep the morale up. I have threatened, I mean, encouraged the subversives. I have promoted uh, what is this word I'm looking at? Productivity? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what we're dealing with here. Oh, and of course we have one of the most important aspects of the mission here. We have C. Oh, isn't that fascinating? The echo scanner comes attached with components. There's lovely little warnings on here and everything. Didn't you know that? We're all safe here. We're all lovely. We're all wonderful. Everything's just swell, ain't it? It's just swell. It's fine. It's all fine. I'm not losing my mind. What a harrowing piece of film, am I right? Scorsese couldn't do it better. That's pretty much everything. Uh, at the end of this, I'm thinking about putting some clips, some leftovers that I had from the recording process. Uh, this is probably one of the quickest turnovers I've had for a video. A lot of people are making videos in Lethal Company right now, and I wanted to get in before too many people started making videos as, you know, I wanna add something to the discussion a little bit that's different from other people. I thought this little skit would be funny. If you're done with the video, you can click off here. Thank you for watching this video it was great fun to have you here if you want to stay for some funnies they're at the end of this video it'll probably make the video about 20 minutes long enjoy and see you on the next video i will make another community post when i have started writing the script so thank you again hello here? where'd you guys go okay so there is something oh, down okay. there uh it's where it fell in the hole what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's oh, he's coming, he's coming, he's coming. I'm dead. I'm not dead. What the fuck? Oh. Well, goodbye, <laughs> whoever that was. It opened the fucking door and went. <laughs> it's either another flashlight or a Yeah. <laughs> I want to. I saw it. It's like behind the. You see it right there? Yeah, I scanned it. It's called a forest giant. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. Holy shit. <laughs> oh god. It's coming. It's coming. Time to, time to go. Great. What's up? Hey. The biggest goddamn thing in the world. Is it guarding the door to the ship? He's in the ship. He's in the ship. I'm... I can't run. I grabbed oh. the scanner. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, 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 I don't like how dark it is. Yeah, fuck that. As in that. What the fuck is that? Hello. Hello. <gasps> ah! <laughs> the fucking squirm fall. Yeah. He, he had the key. Ah, uh, not this spot again. There's a turret. There's a turret. Be careful where you oh, go. What? Be careful where you go. There are turrets. What the fuck is that? That's a giant spider! Giant spider! Giant spider! Is it coming? I don't know! 
Should I go back in there? Uh, I'll take a peek. Oh, <laughs> I walked in there right here. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> God, so blurry. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh, come on! No way! I don't know! What the fuck was that?! Please God, please God! Oh, oh my god, it's <laughs> Ah, I did it so slow! I died out there, I died, I died outside, I died outside! I died outside! I died outside. I died outside. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the worst thing ever. <laughs> you were so close! Oh, I, the, I heard Jack to close the door, so I was like, fuck. Fucking Christ! Ooh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> okay, they're next to them here, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Wax the fucking thing. Ooh. Ow! Why did that hurt? Did that hurt? Bitch. Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Back the fuck up, motherfucker! Yeah. Oh, oh. oh! There's a dog! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I wonder if I can grab him in my hand though. I don't think so. Ah! Uh. <gasps> Runner. Oh! Oh! <laughs> 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 he tweaked you, oh. I'm a perk! Yeah. Oh my fuck, that is not a spider! What the fuck is that? Why is it so big? Dude, you about to get snatched up. Oh no. Dude. <laughs> I'm stuck in the web! Uh-huh. Or is it gonna get roasted? <laughs> <laughs> and then it plays like fucking victory royale Oh, the spider's right there. It's on the wall. That, dude, the way that thing looked at us as it dragged Mike off was crazy. That was not cool. I didn't like the way the fucking thing looked at us. Why? Okay, it's there, it's there, it's there. It's in front of us. Beat it up, beat it up, beat it up, beat it up! Yeah. <laughs> oh, we went the wrong yeah, way. Yeah, can't go. Way. Don't, don't know, Mike. <laughs> Why did he do that? <laughs> did he think he was gonna LeBron James that jump? What are you doing? doing? He wants the smoke. They get defensive when you stare them down. They stay where they are and then they run away. Dude, he's gonna knock your ass. <laughs> hey, no. You're gonna run into a fucking head thing. <laughs> <laughs> They're kind of those spiders are kind of slow. Never mind. <laughs> 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 Yo, Jack, you say I go in there? It would be hilarious. But don't... I don't know how big the explosion is. I mean, if you want, if you really want to. <laughs> Take him. It says the landmine is still there. What is that? 
Also hear that? Oh, the weight of Erm the Storm. Oh wait, there's a door at the base of the... Oh! He can't make it across this way. Can he? Can he? Can the can the goo, can the goo jump? Imagine it jumps. Now, I, I, watch him fall into the thing. <laughs> uh, oh. Wait. Move. Move. Oh, oh, move. Close the fucking door! <laughs> Grab the loot! Who Skins the door? Listen! <laughs> <laughs> How much money do we have? Eight? Eight Disney dollars? <laughs> oh! Whoa! Uh, oh my god! Okay, this might wow. be a mistake! Um. How bad of a mistake door. was it? Don't open that door. No! Oh, it's on, it's on, it's on,